Hey guys, it's Marlisa. I'm the Productive Babe here on YouTube and today I have a melting basket for the month of April, which I'm super excited about anytime we transition into a new month and I get to pull new wax to pull from or to choose from throughout the month, I get super excited. So as uh, normal, typical for April is like spring scents for me. I start to bring out more of the florals, which I typically don't really gravitate towards floral scents, but in the springtime in April, like March, that's when I um, try to get through my floral stash just because I know that I don't melt it really any other time of the year. Um, so you'll see a lot of that in here. I also have just like some greens and purples and pinks. When I think of April, I think of purple. So I pulled out a lot of lavender. Um, yeah, just like fresh floral scents. There might be a little bit of fruity. Um, is there bake? I think I pulled like one bakery, which I know, shocking. Um, but that's because Easter is this weekend, so I wanted to pull something for Easter. Everything else though is, we're just, we're gonna dive in because it's a big basket. Okay, first I have Leo from That Smell Good Shop. This is apple, strawberry, cotton candy, and lavender. Um, I mainly pulled this because the color of it, and also I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but I'm trying to get through all my vendor wax, um, and just have like Scentsy, and yeah, I'm excited. This one's really good. Ooh, I definitely get that strawberry and cotton candy and apple, and like a hint of lavender, so this is interesting. Also, it's from 2022, so this just needs to get melted. Um, you know what? I'll worry about that later. Okay. Then we have, um, from Fantasy Wax Melts, Miss Lemon Bee Tea and Cakes Cornbread Lemon Pound Cake. Again, this color. Yeah, this is good. Um, it's just a, you know, shot cup. It's, I'm not a big fan of tea and cakes, but I do like lemon. Uh, so there's that. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get through the vendor first. That way, if that's all you care about, you can leave after that. Um, for yeah, Easter, which is this coming Sunday, I think, um, Bunny Kisses from Harper James, Wild Cherry, Tangy Strawberry, and Ripe Peach. Um, so yeah, just a super fruity scent that I'm excited about. Ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that smells like... This smells like something. This smells like a candy that I've smelled before. Ooh, I can't put my finger on it, but that smells like a candy. Man, I don't know. I definitely get that cherry though. That's the the most prominent note. Okay, then we have strawberry pound cake and lavender frosting from Southbound Candle Co. Uh, this is pound cake, strawberries, fresh cream, lavender, vanilla, and buttercream frosting. I'm so excited to finally get to using that. From Southbound Candle Co., I have a clamshell and unicorn pops, Satsuma, blood orange, goji berry, sugary crystals, and a tiny hint of creamy vanilla. This one's so pretty, and I look at the little unicorns. Ooh, that is very citrusy. Yeah, definitely get that Satsuma right there. Okay. Um, from Rose Girls, I pulled out two. I have lavender crazy pants, sweet lavender, green apple, and strawberry jam. So just these colors totally remind me of like springtime in April. So I'm excited about that one. I think that one's heavy on the lavender. Um, and then Bam Bam. This is Fruity Pebbles, Sugar Milk, and Cheesecake. Yeah, this one's old too, so I just need to get through this. And I love the cereal scents. So there's that. And then I just have two more from Vendor. Um, Sassy Girl, I pulled actually two of these. Um, this is Laundry Today or Naked Tomorrow. It's Vanilla Lavender, Island Fresh Gain, Pink Sugar, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And it's green and purple, which I love. And then Grand Aria. I have been saving this for ever since I got it. Um, I have stayed at the Aria in Vegas, and I freaking love it. It's like one of the best hotels hotels I've ever stayed at. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Is it considered like something else? Like, no, it's not a resort. I guess it's a hotel. Okay, whatever. Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Two Bros, Vanilla Amber, Soft Woods, and White Musk. So this is supposed to smell like the scent that they pump at the Aria. And oh my gosh. Oh, it is just to die for. It's definitely a like floral jasmine, vanilla amber, musk. Oh, this would be such a beautiful perfume. 
yeah, I'm gonna be sad to like, I'm gonna be excited to finally use it, but I'm gonna be sad to see it go. So I don't know if she like brings that one back or not. Okay, everything else is scentsy. Let me take a sip of my coffee real quick. Okay, first we have lots of lavender. This was, I think, bring back my bar in January, lavender and chamomile, that's it. Cam chamomile, chamomile? Yeah, it's just a very soft scent. Um, I'll probably melt that in the bedroom. And then I have another lavender. We have French lavender. This is more of an herbal lavender. So like your green. Um, it says wild lavender from the hills of France. Yeah, this to me is like a very herbal lavender. Okay, and then we have lavender cotton. This is purple lavender, soft cotton, and daisy blossom. I'm actually using this for my laundry right now. Um, so I tend to like rotate my Scentsy laundry. So right now I am in my lavender cotton um, scent, I guess. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So they have lavender cotton in laundry. Actually, do they still have it? I don't know. They might still have it because um, we just changed catalog in March. But anyway, they, um, the wax has not been available for a while. So I think I must have gotten this in a flash sale at some point. That is so good. If they ever brought this back, I feel like I would add this to my club because this is like my favorite lavender scent that I've ever smelled from Scentsy. Uh, okay, then we have Spring Forward. This is Italian bergamot, raspberry, jan, and cedarwood. Yeah, this is just like a very floral woody scent. Um, 100 Acre Wood from Winnie the Pooh, uh, the Winnie the Pooh collection. Cotton Blossoms, Wild Jasmine, and Sweet Cozy Vanilla. So this is a very soft, um, nice bedroom scent. If you don't like super strong scents, this is probably a good one. Uh, it's just very soft. Okay, then we have Cotton Candy Tails. Um, wild strawberry, creamy caramel, and sweet sponge sugar. I did pull this one for Easter as well. Ooh, yeah, that smells like strawberry and cotton candy. Mmm. I think this is, is this the scent of the month right now? Yes, I think this is the, uh, March scent of the month right now. So you can get this, uh, slightly discounted right now. Okay, then we have the Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Celebration Bar Iridescent. Um, this is cedarwood, citrus, peony, and apple blossom. And this is supposed to smell, is this supposed to smell like the hotel, like the scent that they pump at the hotels of the Grand Floridian? Am I making that up? I don't know. It's based off something. I'm not sure. Um, it's nice. It's definitely, I could see this being like a scent that they melt like in a lobby of a hotel um it's floral it's nice it's not overpowering okay then we have green tea smoothie which was to bring back my bar from last year uh this is cool green tea bright ginger peach nectarine and cranberry and uh, yeah i have not melted this one yet i just got one of them when it came back in the bring back my bar round and i have yet to go through it so i'm just gonna go ahead and use it um that's the only one i have so hopefully i don't like it too much Okay, then we have actually, I think I pulled two of the new releases. Yes. Um, so Sensi released the 10 new scents for this spring summer catalog, Evening Sky and Moon Orchid. Um, this one is Bergamot, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Vanilla Orchid. And this one is Soft Bergamot, Madagascar Vanilla, and Midnight Lily, which a lot of people are saying this smells like uh, very similar to Dashing, which is actually still in our catalog, but it was a new scent from last fall and winter. Yeah, they both smell nice. Of the two, I definitely prefer Evening Sky, just because it has that vanilla scent. This one is more floral. Um, so we'll see how those perform. Then I have My Wish. Um, I've melted this one several times before. Uh, this is Earthy Fig, Sweet Violet, and Marshmallows. It's in my club. It's good. It's just a like marshmallowy violet scent. So I, I still think it's kind of springy because it's like floral, but it's a little bit softer. Then we have violet sponge sugar, and this is tart cloudberries, violet water, and sponge sugar. 
had this one in my club for a while. I do like it. Definitely has that tartness to it. It is like a sweet fruity tart scent. And it is really good. I did end up pulling it from my club, but I don't know. Yeah, it's just really good. I, I think that was a part of the Easter collection last year. Okay, then we have Cotton Candy Cookie. This is Cotton Candy Cookies um, Sugared Raspberries. And yeah, this is just a really good one. I know people love this one. Mm, yeah, I wish Sensi would bring this one back so I can put it in my club. Yeah, I just love cotton candy scents. Speaking of cotton candy, I have a couple of more cotton candy scents. Yeah, okay. We have Candy Craze. Uh, this is raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and marshmallow. This to me smells like a body care cotton candy. Like I definitely get that cotton candy um, note in there, but for me, this is body care because it smells soapy to me. It's also very light, so we'll see. Um, then we have Angel Experiment 624, which is actually in our permanent spring summer catalog for this season. Um, this is goji berry, blackberry, sweet vanilla, cream, and sugar cane. A lot of people say that this is like a cotton candy scent. I don't think it smells like cotton candy, but it's definitely like a fruity berry scent. Not really cotton candy to me, but um, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's girly, and it's pink and purple. So we're melting that. And then Candy Orchard, um, another cotton candy scent. Spun sugar, sweet raspberry, and warm vanilla. This was January scent of the month. Mm. Yeah, I think I have melted this one before. It's good. Um, I think it smells very similar to Cotton Candy Tails, which is this scent of the month, but I'm okay with that because I like cotton candy scents, so. All right, so then we have the new Aristocats um, Absolutely Perfect Bar. This is Cherry Blossoms, Creamy Vanilla, and Spring Air. And this is just a, like, floral. I'm not really a big fan of Cherry Blossom scents, but... Of course, I have to try out every new scent that comes out, so we're going to give that one a go. Uh, Rainbows and Butterflies. This is Fresh Strawberries, Pineapple Juice, and Vanilla Citrus. This is definitely an April bar to me. Whew, yeah. Yeah, you definitely get that pineapple, the citrus. It's just super fruity and really, really good. Okay, then we have Darling Dahlia. This is, ooh, can't really read the notes. Heirloom Peach Dahlia and Strawberry. I think that's what it says. And I got this in a flash sale. Ooh, yeah, this is really pretty. Mmm. Wow, that's actually really good. So it's like a fruity floral. Oh man, that is good. I think I got a couple bars of this, so I'm glad I picked that up in a flash sale. That is going to be really good, I can tell. Okay, pink leather. This one's in my club. It is wild strawberry toasted vanilla and pink leather. I think this was August scent of the month, if I'm not mistaken. I probably am though, because I feel like I get those wrong all the time. Yeah, this is just like a strawberry... Um, mm, I don't really get vanilla... It's kind of like a tart strawberry to me. So, I don't know. It's good. Uh, Snow White Kind Heart. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't have the scent notes on this. So I don't know what this smells like. Or I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. Um, I'm getting like a citrus floral. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It's so hard when you don't know what the scent notes are because it's like, okay. Honestly, this kind of smells like a vitamin, like a kid's vitamin. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to love this one. Also, it's like super juicy, so I just need to get to using that one. Um, it's getting old, so. Okay. 
Then we have Courage. Um, did I pull? Okay, so I pulled two of the Mother's Day collection. These are not um, currently available, but if you are a Scentsy consultant, we do get early access to some collections. So this is two of the three. There was another one that came in this collection. Uh, I think it's called Strength and it's like an orange color. Uh, but these two are Courage and Kindness. So I wanted to try these ones out. This one is Raspberry, Mango, and Amber. And that one smells really nice. Honestly, all of them smell nice. Kindness is Dewy Greens, Magnolia, and White Musk. And this is a straight up like laundry scent. Yeah, this smells like laundry. They both smell really nice. Okay, there goes all my bars. Uh, anyway, those two, they smell nice. So I'm excited to give those a try. Then we have Lana Sarah. This was from Bring Back My Bar. Um, honeysuckle, Warm Amber, Patchouli. This does not smell good to me. I just kind of want to use it and see how I feel, but on cold, I don't care for it. Uh, pink Tulips. This is Apple, Juicy Raspberries, and Night Blooming Jasmine. So we have like a fruity floral situation. And yeah, I definitely get that. Ooh, this bar is like super discolor. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like pink in between here, but then it's like yellow on the outside. Huh. And I got this in a flash sale not too long ago. So this is like what they sent. Interesting. Um, yeah, it's pretty light. So I'll see. I'll be interested to see how that performs. Okay, very vanilla. This is a new catalog scent this season. It's vanilla and taco bean. And it is just a um, body care vanilla. To me, it's not a bakery vanilla. It's a body care vanilla. And it smells like warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works. So if you know what that smells like, that's exactly what it smells like to me. Okay, then we have Twitter Pated. This was also from Bring Back My Bar. And I think it's also available right now. Um, it's Meyer Lemon Morning Dew Drops and Wild Moss. And yeah, this is just like a nice green scent. Very fresh. Maybe get like a hint of lemon. I think I get the dew, the dew drops and the moss. Hmm. That's good. Um, then we have another bring back my bar, peony petals. Uh, this is peony rose petals and soft breeze. And I don't like peony, I'll be honest. I've never been a fan of peony. So there's that. Then I have Find Your Happy um, Showered in Flowers. This is Rose Petals, Sweet Jasmine, and Sunkissed Greens. So let's see. Mm, yeah, that smells pretty good. I think I just really like Jasmine. I do get the greens and like a little bit of rose. That's good. Let's see what, oh, I just have one more, okay. Uh, and last but not least, we have Mountain Sunset. This was from a last year's catalog, and I think it might be available now. Uh, it's Wild Bluebell, Warm Woods, Coconut, and Golden Amber. Ooh, yeah, this one's nice. It's, um, mm, I definitely get that coconut and, like, warm, or, like, the amber. It's a very soft. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Kukui and Coconut, but Kukui and Coconut, like, is way better. Yeah, this one's nice. Um, I don't know if I melted this last year. I'm, I'm sure I didn't. I just don't remember. But anyway, we're melting it again. So that was my basket for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, you know, this is just kind of like a starting point for me. I typically end up pulling other things from my collection throughout the month, which I end up showing you guys in empties. So... Um, this is just kind of to start me off and we'll see how much of this I can get through in the month of April. I'm actually going to be, uh, we're going on vacation for one week out of April, so I'll only have three weeks of melting. So um, I probably won't get through as much wax as I normally do in a month, but again, we'll see. Um, if you guys have any thoughts about anything, um, if you're melting anything similar for the month of April, please let me know. If you did enjoy this video, definitely like, comment down below, subscribe to your, my channel if you haven't already. 
Um, and then if you've made it to the end of the video, leave me a little flower in the comment section for April. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.